Hey everyone, welcome back to another mining chamber video. In today's video, we are going to be building a Radeon 7 mining rig. But before we do that, I just want to thank you guys for helping us reach over 6,000 subscribers. We did not yet do a giveaway for the 5,000 subscriber milestone, so we will be planning this in the near future. And I also want to apologize for not posting a video in a while. After this video, we will be back on track with our regular weekly videos. Thank you guys again for all your support and we hope you enjoy this video. Now let's go ahead and get into the build. We will be using 6 Radeon 7s and to power these GPUs we will be using 2 Corsair RMX 850 watts. Like that we can run 3 GPUs on each PSU and to make that possible we will be using splitters and a dual PSU adapter. And then for the motherboard we will be using an MSI Z170A SLI Plus with an Intel Celeron G3930 and 2 sticks of DDR4GB RAM. As for our storage, we are using a 120GB Kingston SSD that has Windows 10 pre-installed, which we used for this mining rig before taking it apart. We will be putting all this up on a 6 GPU VETA frame, and finally we will be using 5 Easy DIY RGB fans for the aesthetics. They don't provide good cooling, but they do look really nice. So now for the parts list, you will be able to find all the parts for this mining rig with the prices in miningchamber.com. So you just want to go ahead and visit our website and then you'll notice there's a category for hardware, which will have examples of different cards and we cover the cards in details. So now in this video, we're covering the Radeon 7. So let's go ahead and visit that. If you notice here, we first have the YouTube video of the card and then we have the overview, optimization, and then the mining rig builds. So if you go ahead and click on mining rig builds, it will take you to the section where you will find different examples of the Radeon 7 build. As of now, we only have one build of it. So you'll notice here we have all the parts list and then they will be separated by two different prices structures. So the MSRP, which is how much it would cost if you buy them all brand new off the shelf. And then the bot for which is how much we got it for. So just remember to always check local markets. And if you want to buy any risers or splitters, I do recommend checking nerdgears.com. They have really good deals there. And then as for the Radeon 7, you'll probably only be able to find it on ebay.com and the prices there sometimes are pretty high. So just look through this list and see what you like here and just try to take this as an example so you can build your next mining rig. And also don't forget that these prices are calculated without any taxes. So if you have, for example, 7% tax in your area, then I would just multiply the total price with 7% and then add that extra difference on there. So you can calculate it with taxes. There is also another section on the right side. So if we scroll here to the right, we will find the performance and return on investment, but we will jump into that more later on in the video. So now let's go ahead and get the time lapse started for building this mining rig.
Alright guys, so we finished up the build and then we only have one tip, so we've got a Corsair RMX 850 watts, two of those, and we were able to get three different VGA strands that are dual 8 pin from each power supply, which worked out perfectly for us, so we have six cards and six strands, and each strand carried two dual 8 pins, so we just added one splitter to each strand, and like that we were able to power the GPU and its riser with just one strand. And since we're doing efficiency settings and only running the GPU at 190 watts, we know that it will be able to maintain that with that one strand. But if you're trying to run your Radeon 7 on maximum power, then you'll probably need two strands on one GPU instead of just one. So keep that in mind. And now let's go ahead and turn on the mining rig. So our first time trying to run the mining rig again after building it, we were getting an error that it's telling us there is not enough resources for all the GPUs to be able to run. So usually that happens when you have mining mode or 4G decoding off in your motherboard. But we double checked and then it was on. But after we did a CMOS reset and reset it all the BIOS settings again and change it back to on, everything worked back to normal and now it's working completely fine without any troubles. And also for the power draw, we are going to be using the tech and smart wall plugs where we can easily monitor the power draw of each PSU from our phone. And then like that we can tell how everything is going and how much power we're consuming for this mining rig. So now we can see on the left side we have our secondary PSU. It's pulling around 595 watts, let's say 600 watts. And then on the right side we have our main PSU which is doing 3 GPUs and the entire system. Which is pulling around 640 watts. So all this total up we can round it up to 1250 watts. And now let's go ahead and go back to that profitability sheet and take a look at it. Alright, so we can go ahead and see here that the 6 Radeon 7 mining rig will give us 480 mega hash and the power that it consumes is around 1250. And then the revenue monthly based on November 6, so these calculations happen on November 6, is $441 USD. And then the electricity cost based on the cost of 0.10 cents per kilowatt hour is $86.40 a month. So that leaves you with a profit of $354.80. Just remember that these values are based on November 6, 2020. So they are going to be different. And if you want to check the updated version of this, you'll just have to click on view updated returns and then you'll get the most recent version of it. So now let's go back to return on investment. On return on investment, we are going to be able to make our money back paying electricity at 10 cents per kilowatt hour in 12 and a third of a month. And if we don't have to pay electricity, if your electricity is free, we'll be able to make our money back in 10 months. And now if you would buy it brand new with the prices that we talked about from off the shelf, you'll see here that it will take you a lot longer to break even. So that's why we recommend buying your parts used so you can drop the difference from 8 months to 12 months or whatever prices you can get it on. It will make a big difference for your return on investment. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything that we missed out on, please let us know in the comment sections below. And like I said, we'll hopefully be back to our weekly video upload. So thank you guys again and stay tuned for the giveaway that we will be doing soon and we hope you have a wonderful day.